So you, yes, you, you decided to challenge yourself in your freshman year by taking an AP class, AP Human Geography. Now what? What do you need to prepare for? What should you know? Breathe easy, because I'm going to cover all the most important things you'll need to know in this video. Yes, it has a real AP class with a real weighted 5.0 GPA. But relax, don't worry, because if you Google the difficulty level for AP classes, this is one of the easiest, but it is still preferable that you have some basic knowledge about cultures around the world and physical geography. It's called human geography for a reason, and you'll probably need some catching up to do if you don't know where Japan is and where Portuguese is spoken. You don't need to stare at a world map and memorize all the cities in the world, and there's no summer assignment either. Just general basic knowledge in culture and geography will be a huge help when you're starting this class. Now, once you start the class, you'll need to always think geographically. Mr. Nevins will repeat this many times, but yes, think geographically. How would this event affect immigration patterns? How does physical geography influence culture? Always think geographically and what local, regional, and global effects the event will cause. You'll also learn a lot of models and theories. There's over 30 you'll need to know by the end of the year. They're not that difficult to understand and conceptualize, but make sure you memorize the model, the theorist, and what it's developed for, because some of them are very similar and you will be tested on them. For example, this is a concentric zone model. When you see it, you should immediately remember its general shape that Ernest Burgess developed it in 1925 and is supposed to be a general representation of American cities. Human Geo is a fairly reading heavy class and you'll be spending a considerable amount of time reading the textbook, but don't worry, it's not that bad. You'll be told which pages you'll need to read and pages will also be posted online on Canvas. In the beginning of the year, you'll have to take notes based on the textbook and have a quiz on the material based on the notes you took, so write down the main idea, important points, and any statistics you see. But afterwards, about three months or so, you'll be provided with a reading guide that basically tells you what you should be taking notes on, and have a short multiple choice quiz based on that, which is way easier. So yeah, generally, don't worry too much about reading and note taking. Then, the AP exam in May. I'm saying this right now, and this is a fact. You will pass the exam. Time management is important, as you'll have to answer 60 multiple choice questions in one hour and three free response questions in 75 minutes. But it is really easy. As long as you don't forget everything you've learned, the exam should be a breeze. Most of the answer choices for the MCQ portion make no sense, and here's an example question. Yeah, you'll be able to eliminate most answer choices. For the FRQ, just pay attention to what the prompt is asking you. If it's asking for a definition, then just define the term and you'll get the point. But if it asks you to explain something, then you better explain the topic in depth. And just a definition is not enough. Don't spend too much time on each question and write and work efficiently. Then just wait for a passing score in July. In conclusion, AP Human Geo is an easy class that can not only help you earn a higher GPA and college credit, but also prepare you for harder AP classes, such as AP World History, down the line. As long as you don't slack off too much and know how to think geographically, you'll certainly enjoy this class and have a lot of fun. Personally, I found this class to be really interesting, and the topics we cover can also advance your understanding of the world we live in. Good luck!